Kenny West clarified that he is not in conflict with Taylor Swift or Shaquille O'Neal, despite misleading headlines. He addressed the reports on social media emphasizing that his mention of Swift in a song does not signify a renewed feud. West and his wife attended the Super Bowl 58, where Swift was also present with her partner, Travis Kells. Reports suggested that Taylor Swift had Kanye West removed from Allegiant Stadium. The artist's conflict began in 2009, when West interrupted Swift's acceptance speech at the MTV Video Music Awards. Further tension arose from the famous music video and a leaked phone call. However, the controversial entertainer says that reports of his experience at the NFL showdown, were the complete opposite of the speculations. When I said that I'm the new Jesus BCH, I wasn't even thinking about Taylor Swift that was a whole line before, but I appreciate the free promo Lil Wayne actually mentions Travis Kels on Vultures 2 wrote West in his post. In Vultures 1, Kenny West expressed positivity and triumph, reflecting on a challenging 2023 that involved facing criticism for anti-Semitic remarks. He acknowledged being banned from establishments and facing backlash from the Jewish community, comparing it to mistreatment based on race. The Chicago native then wrote, Remember I was on Taylor's side when Scooter bow her masters behind her back she and Bayance are big inspirations to all musicians, we always say how both sell out tours and movies also. I'm sure I've been far more helpful to Taylor Swift's career than harmful to all Taylor Swift fans. I am not your enemy he continued. I'm not your friend either though lol. Before finally declaring, I didn't get kicked out of the Super Bowl, we left out seats to go to Xbox and see different friends. In his post, West responded to criticism from former basketball player O'Neal and took aim at Jamie Salter, the founder of Authentic Brands Group. Dov Charney is my brother and me and my wife's business partner when Jamie Salter and everyone else wouldn't take my calls, he let me sleep at his factory. Dov Charney, Jonah Hill, and John Rathman are three people who inspired my apology wrote West. The NBA champion, however, felt that the rapper was sharing unnecessary information. In the comments of the post, Shaq wrote, who cares stop be chin and s-n-i-t-c-h-i-n-g, as well as I know you saw me at the Super Bowl. One was waiting for you to say something smart man up. Nobody wanna see you crin, man up lil boy. Instead of firing off a skating response, the mega producer chose to extend an olive branch. Oh and to Shaq I grew up looking up to you. I would love to hang with you. And Jamie sometime Jamie Salter is like a father figure to me. The media may control the narrative, but the people have spoken West wrote. Shaq is in business with Jamie Salter, the gold digger rapper wrote at the time. Jamie first said he's 50 50 ths with David Beckham and 50 50 ths with Shaq. I said Jamie dot, there's no such thing as 50 50 ths in business dot. Who has the extra 1% for the control and voting rights? Even then Shaq warned him to tread lightly, posting, Believe me you don't know me like that. Worry about your business, and to quote the once great Kanye West I got more money than you. So why would I listen to you take my advice? Get your family business in order. Have a great day brother. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more of the same. See